Well, that's nice. I didn't have to actually recapture my capture card. Yuta! Oh, uh, yeah, I did a workout, Senpai. Like, I worked out the earlier this morning, power training. I think I might have gone a little bit too hard, but it's fine. I'll survive. How is Destiny 2, the new expansion? I heard it's the new expansion, right? I just saw a Twitter on you, on your... A tweet on your Twitter. <clears throat> English is so good. It's good to get the blood pumping. Yeah, it is. It is definitely good to get the blood pumping. Oh! <clears throat> Oh, let's do that small YouTube intro. Guys, gals, ladies and gents, welcome everyone to a new start, old start of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Hope you all enjoy and let's get started. I love the new expansion. Is it really good? I it, don't get... I've tried to play Destiny ones before and I've always not really been into the entire sci-fi stuff. So uh, I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into Destiny. It was not my kind of game. At least I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's good. It's actually pretty quick so far. So I had to start raiding with the team noise. Great nights. I'm actually excited for the new MMO that's coming out at the end of this month. New World. I want to get into that as well. Sci-fi is the only shooter genre I play, lol. <laughs> that's fine, right? Yeah, I'm just not I'm not very much a fan of it. I'd rather go like further back into the past. Give me my swords and shields. Rather than You know. Might need to adapt my uh, sound a little bit. So is the HD version of Skyward Sword any good? I remember playing it on the Wii and it was awful. <clears throat> We're actually going to figure out... This game as well has the option to play with just the controller instead of the motion controls. But I am personally a fan of gyroscope. Except for uh, when it comes to the sword slashes. My little sister has already been playing the game and uh, she was having issues with it but when I was actually playing and making more like relaxed it was pretty decent but it's definitely gonna be some getting used to again. Uh, you are fated to have a hand in a great destiny and will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Link. So, uh, I'm curious. V is definitely less annoying, from what I've heard at least. She won't be, like, spamming your face with every single item that you pick up, at least. <laughs> Only the first ever time. The first time ever. <clears throat> Fucking bird. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Link. Today is the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. Zelda! Oh, 
I wonder how my uh, actual controller is going to function, though. I might need to actually open up my limited edition Zelda Joy-Cons, even though I want to keep them closed. For the rest of eternity. Yeah. Morning, Link! So today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson loft wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed is a in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so, you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pivot. Different color outfits. Start getting ready to stream. Have a good one, dude. Senpai, thank you very much for stopping by, my dude. You have a fantastic stream and enjoy the Destiny 2. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Hey, Link! Oral. Up here! Yo. Good morning to you, Link. Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me and we can have a quick chat. That still works the same. Excellent! Oh, damn. Always remember you can target someone to talk to them easily. And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? Oh no, it's the tutorial! <laughs> you should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of the wooden box, don't you think? Then you can make that jump fairly easy. Try climbing up here. <laughs> Tutorials. So, what are you up to? Rushing to get some late-minute bird riding practice in this morning, Link? Oh, you have someone to meet? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Ga Gea Porta... Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's pro uh, you probably pronounce it just like the owl in Ocarina of Time, but I have no idea how to pronounce that either. Has a pet named Mia, and well, she scrammed off again. Look! Over there, you see her? <laughs> the headmaster is so busy working with Zelda, preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes as well. You see, will you help me out and retrieve Mia for me? Yeah, sure. Let's go get that. Fantastic! So you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you uh, you're taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang on that ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite a climber. I really do appreciate it. Ah, uh, you just don't want to get dirty. Yeah, stupid old man. Let go. Oh. Mm -mm. So far, so good. Hey, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Nice work. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Link. I suppose... Should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. 
the statue of the goddess. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. Uh, don't tell the others. Wow, a red rupee. That's a lot of money. Is that enough fruit? No, we don't have to get being bombed out the entire time. Youth guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, bring light to the land. <laughs> hey, good morning, Link. I'm glad to see my Lothwing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet this morning. But look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. I can't speak for shit today. Mm. <clears throat> it sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. And look at these clothes. I make this I make this wrap myself. And we've got to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. Aww. Aww. The Zelda Link shippers are gonna cry for this shit. <laughs> So, how do I look? Great. Hmm. <laughs> I think so, too. But it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Link. Ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, father. Ah, Link, you're here, too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity to sleep. Capacity for sleep. <clears throat> no doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. Nope. Totally wrong, I was sleeping like a brick. Then that stupid bird came in and woke me up. If you win today's ceremony race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yes, about that, father. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Link hasn't been practicing as much as at all for the ceremony. Uh-huh. And even when he's out riding his swing, he just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests tests the skill of the riders as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Hmm. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his Lothwing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our Loftwings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestowed upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our Loftwing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment. 
as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Link and his Lothwing was extraordinary. The bird came to him. Uh, the bird that came to him was a crimson Lothwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. You recall when Link and that Loftwing of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. <clears throat> and judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say that friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. <laughs> are these cool Aryan people... These are, uh, the Skyloftians. <laughs> Something like that. Hey, Sardolf, how you doing, dude? Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bonds shared by Link and his bird. Anyone who is part of something special is bound to catch some... Nasty look sooner or later. <laughs> oh. This contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. The ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race. What if Link messes up? His back chance. What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It'll be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you're worried about Link. Obviously. Hey. This is your typical... Uh, childhood friend love story, after all. Listen, Link, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. My former teacher didn't like the goatee when I met with her in school to get my diploma. Yeah. <laughs> I took it after two years. <laughs> Aw. I shaved it after two years. Damn, dude. Here we go. Go on now, jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, well, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go! Whoa. <laughs> oh, Link, go ahead. Just press blah blah blah. I didn't even have to press it. That sucks, dude. Hmm. This bird sure is taking a long time to get here. So, uh, you're goatee-less now, uh, Sardolf. Yeah, Zelda, you just threw your crush slash childhood friend of your floating island in the sky while he couldn't sense his... <clears throat> bird. Shelfie is coming soon. The selfies! Are you two alright? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can sense your bird nearby, eh, Link? This is quite a problem, especially considering the, loft, uh, the wing ceremony is about to start. Link, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you, I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You'd better go ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. Ooh. 
I'm constantly in pain and happy. These two counter emotions fuse each other to create another new feeling that's like neither. Oh, that sounds like uh, fun. My, how did it get so late? If I recall correctly, this year's this year instructor Horwell is presenting a pre pre preside presiding over the ceremony. Link, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. It's probably fine since we helped him later. But father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link asks instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come to talk to you about it. Ah, oh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to myself. Link, run along and tell Instructor Harwell to come see me in the quart my quarters. Not the quarters, but my quarters. We. La da da da. You're Horwell, right? No. What's wrong, Link? You're uh, looking a little pale. What? Your left wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now. How will you make it back in time to fly the ceremony? Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on a feather or... <laughs> not. You can find that bird in time. Um, excuse me. I see, so the headmaster has summoned me. Alright then. I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. And I'm not sure if I should go here yet. Probably first need to go to town and get antagonized by the motherfucker called... Uh, what was his name again? I completely forgot his name. I'm thinking of Hauser, but Hauser is not the right name. Bruce! Haha, <laughs> fuck my life. You know, Bruce, that sure was a pain. What with all the scratching and pecking. Of course it was. You thought a big crimson off wing like that was gonna go down without a fight. But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. See, Groove's a bitch. Oh, Link, so, uh, yeah, just how long have you been standing there? What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about that today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They are pleading, Oh, Groose, can you please find me in your heart to let me win today? Please! You... you <laughs> God damn it, you're such an ass sometimes. <laughs> you are just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up, at, uh, <clears throat> up on the Statue of the Goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry pal, Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come think of it. How come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? Can't imagine that... Why is it so hard to pronounce shit? Can't imagine what could have happened to him. Or do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. <laughs> Bring it on, bitch. <laughs> sure. The thing is, I don't know how you're going to do that with no birds. You're gonna grow wings. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. Oh, you're just jealous, bitch. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow backbone already? Oops, like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose?
Oh. Oh. Zola. Hey. No, it's, uh... He said no pickles! Don't you understand? <laughs> Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Because he's jealous. Yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you are... Forget it, I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Look, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. I hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood, so find that bird, or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Fucking hell, mate. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your loft wing's disappearance. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and, uh, and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Harrell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. Find your bird in time. The newer the 3D Zeldas are, the better Zelda's design is, honestly. I know where my bird is, though. I can't actually get past that end of the island yet, so I probably should go... I need... Wait, I can? Or am I just at nothing? Oh, yeah, I can't go through yet because I don't have a sword. can get through! Artiful cave, beware of blood-sucking monsters, no kids allowed. Yaddy yaddy does he. Hey Floopy, or whatever your name was. I'm calling you Floopy from now on. I wonder if any if a lot has changed in the speedrunning section when it comes to Skyward Sword. Hey Link! Over here! Pip it! I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here. I don't trust you, mate. You wear yellow, I don't like the color yellow. Sorry. Hey Link, I was just looking for I was just I wouldn't say forward to you. What are we in the hentai? I heard your loft wing was gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Aww. I'm so sorry, Link. I really want to tell you, but if Groose found out, I told you. It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. Didn't notice I was there and start talking about their plan to hide your lock wing. I want to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to write a a bird ever again. It sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near the, uh, near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. I already know where it is, because I'm smart. 
That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with the X. I see. Okay. You know... You know how to read a map, right? Press the... Min... Min... What's... What's in English? Minus? Press the minus at any time you see a map of... Want to see a map of the area. Press minus at any time to see the map of the area. Yeah, okay. It's probably fine. I'm thinking too much. If you get lost, just press the uh, minus. Uh. Forgive me, Link. I can't help being such a coward. Really sorry. It's fine, you ding dong. I've already been there. Hey, it's Link. So you want to get in some sword practice, even though today's the ceremony? I'm impressed. Sword is in the back room. Go and grab it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling sword, go ahead and ask. Practice sword. Students at the Night Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Press start at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Oh man. Vertical slash. Hoo-ha! Oh. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! Wasn't turned enough yet. No, come on. Fine, we'll do this way. That's right, Link. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready f to try a spin attack? Yes. Great. Now I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. And we just do... Whee! Go on! That sure looked like it felt good. So why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Sure. All right, when your enemy is down, target it target it with a ZL and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Do a sight slash on that log. When it's down, try finish it off. English is so hard these days. That's the way. Fatal blow is also effective move to use right after you've used your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to land that fatal blow quick before they get up. Not easy enough. Can I, uh... Take it with me? Oh yeah, you want to learn about... No, thanks. <laughs> Screw you, old man! Hey, Link! You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think they're, you're doing sneaking out with that? I'm not really sneaking, I'm just, like, sprinting. What? Your loft wing is missing? You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember that scale of this peaceful place, only knights carry swords. So I don't want to see you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a <laughs> ton of trouble over this. So here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first, and once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to, get it? Okay, we did that. We just did the entire spam, so... As if I'm gonna listen to you, old fart! <laughs> Legit no point in being... ...so rude the entire time you're running.
Oops. Forgot that I don't have nearly as much energy. Is that Jade already had it when I was playing for her a bit? Grab it yet because I don't have bug net. Hey, Sep! It's a blue bean! How are you today? Good to hear, good to hear. Monster Claw. Green Rupee. At least I don't have to hear it ever again now. Oh, rude. I'm okay, I'm tired as I have been lately. But uh, my chest also hurts. I think I sprained a uh, muscle during exercising today. But it's fine. Runes. Chests open. Ooh, another red rupee. How nice of the game. <laughs> SQ. I. Rupees. Okay, let me see if I can get up that place that I run past before I go grab my loft wing. Answer is nada. Niente. Nope. Oh, we're not through it yet. Link! Hey, Link, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How is your search going? Any signs of your Lothwing? Hmm. Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Gruus and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. 
Huh. Who? Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Now you sure did get distracted there, uh, Zelda. You were imagining things. Look, there he is. No doubt about it. That's your left wing, Link. Who's the girl next to Zelda? Uh. You bastard, Sap! <laughs> you bastards! Yeah, there were two votes on uh, Skyward Sword, though, so I was like, nah, we'll play Skyward Sword. And Scarlet Nexus afterwards. Yo. Ugh, my chest is uh, being very happy right now. Not. Before you go, I have to ask you something. I, I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone in... Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing all, nothing at all down below. I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Something about something of. Oh, it doesn't say something. <laughs> Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagine the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see it for myself. Someday! <clears throat> oh, sorry, Link. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird is waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press the down button. Don't worry about falling, your bird will catch you for sure this time. And that's what you said last time as well, Zelda, but... Uh, rough. Uh, Let's run your bird through the basics, just to make sure he's not hurt. You can fly your bird in any direction where it's... when it's headed upwards. It'll slowly lose speed. If you want to speed up, direct your bird upwards to gain altitude, then drop it into a faster dive. Like that. So again, gain some altitude, then dive up to speed, then dive to speed up. Those are the basics of getting your bird in top speed. So how's he handling? You think he's flying alright? No. Something wasn't right there. Probably because I changed the... While you're riding your loft wing, you can press any time for the base controls again. You can also charge, which is an attack that also gives you a speed burst, as well as slow down when you need to. Try all these moves. Wait, I'm pressing X is this one, sorry. Thank you. 
Okay, it's probably because I make him turn, to make too sharp of a turn here. Makes him slow down. Phew! Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link, but your long wing looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's go give them the good news. Your loft, wing, uh, your loft wing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Seriously? Can't tell time all the three race warm-ups me and the guys did were nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start and they delayed for you. I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. You're almost a man and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? I don't need lunch. I'm not weak like you. <laughs> Um, and don't think we haven't noticed the smug look. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You're just jealous, Groos. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Groos has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pamper in a ruffle about her. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Wow, that's a weird laugh. Hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fancy land you're living in. Zelda's play... Th pl Zelda... I say play thing, I can't read at all. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim the sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way I was gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes. That Zelda's... That sailcloth, Zelda sailcloth, mine. It will all be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue, just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me. And Zelda f oh, can't, can't, can't. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh. It's a it's so real I can I can see it. <laughs> oh yeah. Roosps! Roos, behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of... <gasps> Way to shatter your fantasy lands. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, nothing big really. Just, just, uh, Link. Yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found this red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Uh-huh. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Smug like that. <laughs> Cruz, wait up! Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah. The chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. Now you've got these guys beat. Today. And deep down, I think you do too. Yeah! Yeah! That's the spirit, Link. Trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participant students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Link.
My palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statue to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with the down button once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statue will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simply enough. Uh, I should... Simple or not, not simply enough. I should think, but do you need to hear them again? Nada. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the, uh, the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of Earth Fine Institute. It... Wasn't it also the 25th anniversary of Zelda Skyward Sword? Of Zelda? And all during Skyward Sword release? Makes sense. Celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman, woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by the lovely Zelda. Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Link hasn't been practicing hard at all, he's just natural. So I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up at my command. Line up at my command. The competition will begin. Hey. Go! Dicks. Oh, oh wait, I could press A to get it. Ah, uh, too high. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? <clears throat> yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with an egg on your face. Dickheads. Taking medication. <laughs> that just can't wait. <laughs> Rip page.
Sit. I'm butt. Cairo's all over the place. In Cairo, Cairo. Do, 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 do. It proves your victory today. Nice. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm fine. Yeah, you shouldn't just jump off. Great flying link, congratulations. <clears throat> now we better get on with the ceremony. Link, hand me the bird statue you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. La, da, 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 da. Great goddess, guiding light, and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk, in accordance with the old ways. There was something else, but I didn't read it, I'm sorry. Drip these! The blessing of the goddess drifts down from the heavens aloft the sail, which I now pass on to you. Hey, Hiko. I'm doing okay. My uh, chest hurts a little bit from exercising. But I'm okay. Just a little bit tired. <clears throat> now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. It smells nice, too. <laughs> How are you, Hiko? <clears throat> Link, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? That, that is the sacred ritual of the Links. Every Link must pose when he gets a new item. From BK, from the Burger King? Did you go to the Burger King without me, Hiko? Or is that not what the BK said for? You know, they say the goddess gave the silk cloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the silk cloth in time to give it to you today's champion. Give it to today's champion. <clears throat> I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Always. Ironic that I got a bike from McDonald's only to get <laughs> to the Burger King easier. Ah! <laughs> nice. I would do the same thing, honestly, because I don't like McDonald's at all anymore. I don't like their burgers anymore, and I don't like their food. The only good thing about McDonald's are their Mc McFlurries. But other than that, Burger King is better, in my opinion. Hashtag Burger King, sponsor me with your milkshakes. I would love that. Hey, because it was on the way. Makes sense, makes sense. Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Link. Did we ever promise that, though? 
Don't remember. Now, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Nope! Uh-oh. Sort of? Uh-oh. And just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Link. You're too close, Zelda! You have to jump off the statue! Yay! <laughs> Look down, see that big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right on the center of it. Leap off the edge bef <clears throat> right before you hit the ground, press ZR to open up the silk cloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your silk cloth. So, ready to jump? What? Ugh, this is this has not been improved at all. That uh, falling down system. I would only eat it because they also deliver. Yeah, I don't have any Burger Kings close by enough that they would deliver food to me, so that kind of sucks. Oh, it's perfect. You're amazing, Link. Skyward Sword Zelda is second best Zelda. Breath of the Wild Zelda is best Zelda. You know, Link, seeing as how you won today, and with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Love to. Now they frick. If only. Do, 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 do. Link! Hey, Link! Today was amazing, watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. Now we'll never see her again. She dies. <coughs> Old twist. Uh, sorry. That's a joke. It really was wonderful. Childhood friend crush hype. You know, Link. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. I love you! Explosion. What is that? Twister! Listen, the interaction between Zelda and Link in this game makes my heart go doki doki and at the same time go like cry. I won't spoil her too much, but it just makes me cry. Oh, Link! Link. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Link. Stink. Link the stink. Oh, this sounds terrible. I still need to go get myself a new jack cable. For my connection to uh, my PC capture card. Ah, you're awake. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But Link, where is Zelda? 
She was with you, was she not? What happened to my daughter? Tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. It wasn't black, it was brown. Don't be a racist, game. <laughs> this do does not make me sound any better. But it was definitely a brown fucking tornado. Not black. Even though uh, well, the imprisoned is pretty black. With white toes. Something on his head. You must not push yourself, you're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? She said something about talking to this imaginary friend of hers, and I was like, ah, it's probably fine, and blah blah. I see. She was talking about the surface then. And having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought here for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of connection between these things. Uh-huh, sure, Gaia Porta. Old oh, man. Concerned for Zelda, but as long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Who gives a fuck? Rest now, Link. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. The old fart knows something. He just doesn't want to tell me. Thing in here. A bloopy! You didn't realize there was a bloopy in there. Hey, Fee, what are you doing here? Kid Cat. Kitty Cat becomes pure evil during the night. Sorry, I have to deal with your shenanigans, Kitty Cat. Also, chest. Gimme. Give Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give A rupee.
Inside the statue of the goddess. Nani? <clears throat> One chosen by my creator, I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in the great destiny. According to my social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up this sword as one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. It is your destiny. Strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it's only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. I think that was the word there. I can't read. I'm just like thinking. <laughs> to minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projection indicate to, uh, my projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out your search. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it sky high. Like this? <clears throat> Doesn't work, game. You can't, like, make me put my controller like that. <clears throat> Doesn't really make sense to turn my entire hand like this. <sighs> Sushi! How you doing, bud? You've got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, master. Nope! Link, my master. Link! And my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. Oh, it's quite good. I don't really care. I need to, like, don't know when it appeared, and I don't know where to watch it yet. 
It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. I also didn't really have much time today to do any anime watching. The very knowledge of this room's existence is secret passed down to a select few ge each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. Ah, oh, damn it. My chest is killing me. <clears throat> so I have sworn to keep secrets are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will guide, uh, will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise and with knowledge immeasurable. Oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information. Retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing... Ab abolishing? Yeah, it's probably right. <laughs> the shadow of the apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And unite with the spirit maiden shall bring forth the piercing light that resurrects the land. Zelda Chuan. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world from below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the clouds barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Tradition states that I need to... Show it off to the world what I just obtained. <laughs> you got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charge within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you charge your blade, face the crest and swing your sword, to send out a powerful skyward strike. <laughs> so Sush, how are you doing today, dude? I know you're disappointed in me not having watched Pokemon Evolutions yet. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me and tell me how you're doing? Yeah. 
<sighs> oh my god. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the Gauls has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I've recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you whenever, wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and, and will accompany you in your travels. Press the down button to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Whoa! Link, listen a moment. The nature of the Great Apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whether you, it turns out... But what... Ugh, need weather. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big role... Have epic... Have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive, alive in no doubt, coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. If you decide to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it's only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends through. Okay. You do your people proud, Link. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. That's as though you were born to wear it. Take care on your journey and be sure to stop by some shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from my ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Hey. Link! That green uniform looks so adventurous. Sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine doing something. Do imagine myself doing what you're doing going to do now. Going to do now? English is hard. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. What's this? Adventure pouch. Oh nice. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Only have four. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in these pouches. You should go look for yourself. You should buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on the adventure. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. For us, you mean for me. <laughs> Stop being a cocky little bitch, Shorty. Bitch, please! 
Okay, I can't go to Beetle yet, which kind of sucks. Do you have anything interesting to say? I heard the news, Link's has fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? Headmaster told me there's a land beneath clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. He just gave me a free wooden shield. How nice of him. And the wooden shield is light and uh, maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. Breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip a shield, hold R and select the shield you want to use. Let go of R. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at Sparring Hall probably teach you. That's fine. I need I know how to use a shield. Because I'm good like that. <laughs> Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablets and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to land below. To the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword will result in a uh, decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potion at the bazaar. Do I really have to go get a potion though? Potions are for the weak. <clears throat> it's fine. I'll go see. I got 123. I don't know what the... Uh, Things work for upgrading shields and such. What is this? What is that my eye beholds? Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead of you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes, listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. Can I do exactly the opposite, pray please? <laughs> oh, my chest is kicking my ass. Okay, fine. I won't. Stare deeply into my eyes. These eyes see many things. Oh, yes. These lovely round eyes can even see into the future. Lovely. I think they're kind of scary, to be fair. Let me to tell your fortune, boy. Do you doubt these eyes, I look upon your shirt, boy, and I see a single tread loose on your sleeve, stitching. Nothing can hide from the eyes. Normally, I seek ten rupees to tell a fortune. At this time, I will charge but one. He wants me to tell you your future fortune in the future. Okay, fine. It's one time. Yes, I knew it. Aha! What a treat you are, fire or the first customer I've had in a while. Oh, I mean, I'm the best at what I do. You can trust these glistering eyes. Very well, let me see what I can see. Yes, your fortune. It's all coming in focus now. I like how you can see everything, yet he closed his eyes to see the few his fortune. Aha, I see many things. All is revealed. Young man, are you about to head into a dense wooded area? Somewhere blanket and green, yes? My eyes, they see all. Trees everywhere, yes, many trees. It would serve you well to buy a wooden shield before it travels. I can see that you are a bit young and green yourself, so it couldn't hurt to take a heart potion with you. I just waste my one rupee to just get told what Fee told me to do already. Good luck, young man. Sounds like this guy is going to be a pain in my arse. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. Your shield takes a beating. No worries, I can fix that too. You see what I need for upgrading my shield. Uh, one monster claw, jelly gulp, and ember relics. Sorry, old man, I can't do anything with that right now. Hey, you there! Yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. 
Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink your potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or in one in training, at least. Hmm. Let me tell you, one look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions by the call they're full. So don't try to slink away with sh without stocking up. Oh dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you, though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in the empty bottle. So it's a useful thing to carry around. Oh my god, why is my chest killing me? Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press R to take a look. If you ever get to the point where you can fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off the item check. So what would you like to buy? Give me red potion, potion, potion. That's fat of heart potion. Drink it, drink this there and it will punish eight hearts. Why don't you pick uh, some up for 20 rupees? Sure. Not that much. I need to start saving up anyways, because there's going to be a lot of items to buy at some point. I don't have any ranged weapons yet, so it's not like I can do much with it, but... Like, I can't get to Beetle until I can actually hit his bell with a, a ranged weapon, so... Flying fucker over there. Who the fuck are you? Hey, look up there. It's the Beetle's Air Shop. It's here. He sells bug nets there. I want one so bad. There's a bell hanging down from the shop, and I hear if you ring it, Beetle will stop for you and pick you up. But that bell's up off the ground. You'd have to do to launch something at it to have any hope of ringing it. Yeah, so that's the tip that we're getting. There's nothing specific we can do yet. That's fine, let's just go. Master Link, observe the green pillar before you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. Or literally right on top of it. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relative to Skyloft. It appears that you will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds at column's base. Okay, so I need to press this one to fall. does really seem like the position of your Switch and your joy cons is very good for keeping more control. I didn't have this much control when I was playing at my little sisters, because there's the range is like incredibly large. Doo -doo. Oh, you actually start off here? Right at the temple? <clears throat> Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft's legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Oh, no, 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 we can't actually go in yet. I see a big keyhole. Yeah. 
sealed grounds. Please proceed with caution, Master. Scooty, you Dekababa. Scooty, you Dekababa. Hey, we got a jelly blob. Do we really start by fighting the imprisoned? That's not the case, right? Just my imagination. That's legit another thing that I really dislike about this game, probably, is that it's so slow starting. Twilight Princess starts slow as well. Wind Waker is not that slow. It's just way too many cutscenes. Personally speaking. Could skip all the cutscenes, obviously, but, you know. Where's the fun in that? The fuck is that? Oh, that's just a wall. I thought it was a cave. Because I'm blind as shit. <laughs> you already... Stop wasting time. But wasting time is what I do best. Don't evaluate my total being. Well, no rupees out of that one. Ribbit. It's a dead end. go down to the pillar, right? But there's legit nothing here. 
Wow, my brain does not remember this game whatsoever. Well, I guess we're going. Young child of destiny, descendant from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Huh. Well, we sealed it for a bit. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that tolerates closely to the Silk Cloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain the process to you? Uh, do I care? Yeah, probably care a little bit. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. The response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emits that the aura is indicated by a purple pointer you see. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you want to search. Wasn't there one that went higher? No, sad. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Save on Adventure A. Break the jar! Ooh. It's a fairy! Fairy in a bottle. Ah, the traveler descended from the sky from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of faith. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was pre predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of faith have begun to turn. 
Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to wrap the destiny of which you two are part of. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. <sighs> the X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You will travel in unfamiliar lands, many monsters will have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from far. Point at the X and press A to create a beacon. Have you set the beacon over yet? To remove a beacon from your map, point at it and press A once more. If you aim to be more accurate with the placement of your beacons, zoom in with the R before you lay down one. Lay one down. Go on and point at. That. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see it for yourself. If you no longer have use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. Go on. Go now. You must head into Fire and Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zola. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful on your journey. She's already already wearing the bracelet, actually. That's spoilers, by the way, but... Yeah. Through the door before you and head... Head into the woods. I wish you safe travels. Ah. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Na 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 na... Ooh, nice. You just get two bolts for free this early on. Na 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 Another issue. There's way too little loot get you that you get from the grasses. Feels freaking bad. Out of the way, scram! Thank you for jumping in there, rescuing me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. Oh, you big for taking care of those guys. So let me tell you something fascinating. Hey bud, I'm Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. 
according to the ancient text, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks for those traveling up to the sky or down from the Isle for the Goddess' place. If you find one of those, be sure to examine it to, to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. Supposedly this statue is special as it's said to have the ability to activate all other statues. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all this, these statues be here all over the place? It's a real head scratcher, but makes you want to know more, doesn't it? Yeah, it does not. It's like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright, but you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So to get so get this, people actually live on this sky island and they get around by flying on the back of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there everyone reversed the goddess and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in... I have issues. <sighs> live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict and unhappiness. Not only that, uh, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there. This Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the Goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not even have here. The buildings are all made of gold, an endless spring of mystical waters feeds the rivers through the place. One sip of that stuff and you'll live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit and cures all disease. The fields are cr <laughs> crowded with pumpkins, never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, how the weather buds. Not too hot, not too cold, not a chance of sweaty heat. In this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong. It's beyond amazing. You want to hear more about it? Nah, it's fine. Ah, that's so, bud. I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess it can't wait, yeah, because I'm, like, from there. Whoa! What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? Statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, I need to go that way. Where does this lead to? That is the way back. Ow. Rude. Okay, so this one is now activated as well. Good to know. Careful, Yordin. Don't get too excited. Master, now that you have access to the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. I do have the amiibo actually, but... Eh. I don't really feel like unpacking it just for use. Uh, at least not yet. Oh my god, yawning. 
and get rid of this beacon here. Never needed the beacon in the first place. Master, you have entered Farron Woods. No shit. Farron Woods. The plentiful waters in this region clearly... <sighs> it's low... Uh, it is logical that the Lush plant... I can't read this in time. That's... I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Ugh. Looking at the possibilities, it's extremely likely the Zelda is somewhere in this area. So, using the dowsing ability to find her. No, we don't wanna. Just want to kill things, okay? That's all I ever wanted. Oh! Ah! Do these do boom? What oh, they do? Only green? Rude. I uh, just poke it. Poke it, I shall. Or well, swing at it. guys keep predicting me. It's so annoying. You already you suck. Much better. Freak. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Huh? It's gone quiet. Kew! Now there's a green one! I didn't even know they came in green! Don't hurt me, please! Oh. That is kinda impressive. He's so scared. Really? Come here. Is he just gonna run away from me? Just like that? Oh, screw you then. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Let's spend the night together. Boom. 
Don't know what I'm doing. Wait, no, he's still there. Night? Need to scare him, I guess. Apparently, I'm quite a dumb dumb that I couldn't figure that out. Hello there, buddy. It spawned me again! Hui! You don't want to eat me? Hui, and come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? <laughs> Kipalip? I'm Machi, I'm a Kikui. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thank you for helping me. That's weird. A little while ago I ran into another funny animal like you. But that one was a girl, Zelda. What's this Zelda? I don't know who this is. The girl was. She was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her. But she escaped with the Kikui Elder. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was ass assi assailed by monsters. <sighs> Fee, can you uh, talk easier English, or... <laughs> uh, however, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the Kikui known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my uh, analysis suggests that this Kikui most likely produced... This is a false positive dowsing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that Skikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose to continue dowsing to search for Zelda. I propose not to give a fuck about the dowsing. It really spooked me, Kiyu. You keep some very strange company, friend. It sounds like you were set on finding this friend and the other. If you're heading that way... Anyway, would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Cheer up! I bet your friend is safe with our elder. Don't think I trust you, buddy. Uh... Ooh. Hey. Ember Relic. Almost a greater she. Oh, come on. good lord. Thank you! Ugh. Link, how do you just put away your shields instead of. Oh, wait, I remember. Like, I can do it like this, and then I can just swing, and then it goes away. <gasps> Sneasels. Snivels. Screw you, Deku's Kurabo. Ooh. So. Baba. Yep. 
30. Why did you jump down? Eat me, I taste terrible. Let me go, Queen. Huh? But you don't seem like a monster. The girl with more long hair, you say. Can't say I saw anyone like that. I was laying low this whole time. I'm Ulu. If you meet the elder, tell him I'm here. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm going to stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. Seems like a good idea, Ulu. Ulu, 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 Ulu. Wait, didn't I push this one down? Oh no, it was another one that I pushed down. Yeah, it was this one, a little bit further ahead. How are you today? Burps. That's where the temple is. Flippity floppity flop. Beedip beedip beedip. Aw, boo. Can't reach this yet because I don't have a boomstick. Buddy. Are you not playing with motion controls? I am playing with motion controls. See? This thing just poop on my ass. Thought wrong. <laughs> that 
is not the direction I want to swing in. Ah, ah kidding me? Thanks, game. Say, give me a bit of luck, game. school today, Jade. Shortcut unlocks. As much as you can call that a shortcut. Even better. Okay, so that's where the elder is. I am Bucha, the key qui elder. I saw the way you spotted me, though. My enigma is camouflage. You are clearly a master of woodsman. Or Zelda? Zelda? Ah, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, she was with me. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I'm worried about my missing tribe. The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. What? You say you've met some of my people? So Machi and Ulu are safe, eh? Oh, but there are still monsters lurking in the forest, so I dare not to leave this spot. Two more of my tribe are still missing, unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for, search the area for them and make sure they are safe? I've been worried about my fellow Kikuis, but if you could put my fears to rest, I might remember something about where the girl you seek went. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui Elder is an unfortunate setback, but he may still have useful information. Taking into account, I calculate an 85 probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikuis. To expedite your search for these forest dweller creatures, I have added Kikuis to the drowsing option. 
Whoa, whoa. Do you need me to exp- No, 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 no. Shut up. Shut up, Fee. Additionally, I will mark any keycoins you discovered on your map and disable dowsing readings for them. That way, you will not visit the same keycoins. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing keycoins. Kikuku! Give me health. matters. Oh. Shit, I forgot to... Oh. Ah, dang it. You're the flippo. Woo-hoo-woo. You fought with all those red guys, so does that make mean that you're a good guy? I see, I've got this problem. My legs have turned to jelly and I can't get down. I think you could help me. Probably if you'd like. Flat on its face. Ouch, that uh, was effective. Anyway, thank you for. S thanks to you, I'm saved. Really? The elder was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear he's safe. My name's Lopsa. If you see the elder, can you please tell him where I am? My legs are still a little bit shaky. Oh, oops, wrong button. Oh, you already... Somewhere over there. Seems easy enough. Oh. <laughs> 
Ooh, Ret Ruby. Aw, boo, green Ruby. Hmm, can I go in there? Already? Don't know. Guess I gotta figure that out. That little bugger. Harpies! And a bunch of beetles. Answer is not yet. I don't like that answer. Yes. Skyward Strike block. Don't know if I can do anything with that just yet. Area commands an excellent view of your surrounding. It would be wise to utilize to see if you can find the Kiwis. Looks like he's behind that wall there. How do I break it open? After all, I only have a peanut-sized brain. Peanut, peanut. Uh, that's not how the thing goes. It's hornless, hornless. <laughs> Suddenly, game tells you you don't need bombs. You just need to roll into it. I doubt that's the case, though. Oh wait, he's here. Oh yeah, I remember. I've been discovered, and here I thought I was I had a good hiding place. We, I am Erla. You won't find another kiwi in the woods that's half as good at hiding as I am, except the other, of course. The Elder is, well, giant. He can't hide at all. You speak with the Kikui Elder. You met the Elder and he's okay? Phew, glad to hear it. If you see him, would you please tell him I'm here? Yeah. 
It's not like I have another choice in the matter. Let's see if I even remember which direction the Kiwi Elder was. Kiwi Elder. Probably should have bonked into that tree. Beforehand. So that the shortcut was lowered. Do 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 do. I know why I keep calling these motherfuckers Kiwis instead of Kikwis. Please, all my fellow Kikwis are well and they want me to stop worrying. Ah, excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing, Kui. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. Kui, <laughs> I feel much less worried now, I believe. I just remembered where that young lady went. A young lady, that young girl, Zelda, was her name. Yes, it's all coming back to me. She said she was had to travel to the temple deep within these woods, Kui. Well, I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there, but... The clever little thing faulted off my belly and ran off on our own, just the same. I think she headed down that way towards the Temple Kui, but be sure to take great care if you follow her, that area is crawling with monsters. Oh, I almost forgot, Kui. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kiwis, I'll give you a precious Kiwi heirloom, Kikui. Just... let me just fetch it for you right away. We got a slingshot! With that slingshot, you should be able to find your path into the deep woods where that tempo is. To start, why not try shooting that curl up fine there? Well, it's that art already. Your slingshot, Queen, that we're at least into shoot flying blah blah blue blues. Just took me seven shots, but I did it. Oh, I can't shoot those. Of course not, Jordan. They are not evil. at all to use these. Back at you.
More slingshot nuts. Even more nuts. What is in here again? Wait. This wasn't to the temple. How did Garahem decide to follow? This was towards the temple? He's armed. Girahem. Shem Gem. Wasn't this the entrance to the temple? Oh, no. This is just a plateau. Jordy is so smart. <laughs> Jordy has such a big brain. Uh, I guess we're gonna go towards the temple. Oh, that barely went right. So funny. In a rich man's world. You are absolutely terrible. Asshole! Asshole! Shortcut! Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Thanks, took me long enough. Perry there, Yordi. No, that's not what you intended. Still nice Perry. Right, Rupee! No, there's a face I know. Hey, bud. Hold up, bud. I need to ask you a favor. Fine. I tell you, your timing could not have been any better. Look here, I stumbled onto one of these things just now, and it looks just like something I've seen in those ancient texts. Mm -hmm. Remember right, yep, this is one of the things the goddess was said to have left for the hero of the legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought up a name for these things. I have been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. Did it go again? Let me see. Summoned forth the light from Heavenly Blade and made that sword's master receive aid. Skyward Strike! That's what he needs. Whoa, did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. I think it reached to that whirly beam thing that shot out of your sword. Reacted, not reached. And where do you think the cube shot off to, anyhow? This mystery this mystery has just got a whole lot more mysterious. Said there are cubes like all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come to me. Sounds like a plan, my man. Stan. It's a kind of magic, magic, magic. Oh. You descend from above, look to the star that the birds rising heavenwards gaze upon and aim your shot there. To the star... The birds that rises above gazes on. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Are you trying to say that, my? Right. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. That one, maybe. 
Oh, okay, that was the key, the explanation to opening the dungeon. You already look so smart. Um... <laughs> uh... I honestly think this is a good moment for me to, like, call quits for the rest of tonight. I have been feeling extremely exhausted, my body hurts, and I cannot really sit nicely. Because it hurts. Everything hurts! So yeah. Uh, we just started two and a half hours in. Two hours and 40 minutes-ish. Um, tomorrow's Friday, uh, during the daytime we're most likely going to be playing two hours of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trying, or trying, playing some Yu-Gi-Oh's again, like always. If I can get myself to actually stream, because it kind of depends on how much my energy is going to hold out. And then in the evening we're going to continue with some Scoured Sword. The game is fine so far, it does feel a lot smoother than that I remember on the Switch, uh, on the, not Switch, on the Wii. And also a little bit more smoother than on my little sister's end, that must be due to the fact that my Switch is like right in front of me. So uh, it helps. So yeah, let's uh, go continue the game tomorrow and... Uh... Thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the evening and sleep well. Good night.